Come on, that's not true. It is too. I know a kid whose brother's friend saw it live. Yeah. <gasps> Gretchen, is that you? JJ, so Gretch, what's with the box? I'm using it to make a pinhole projector so we can view the upcoming solar eclipse. You can't look at an eclipse with your naked eye, you know, and it's scorch your retina. You need a special viewing apparatus like the one we're going to build. Come and then on, you can say you better get her to school. It's quite extraordinary, actually. It lights up in front of the sun and before the box. Now, in ancient times, uh oh. Well, what is it? Purple Day. What's Purple Day? That. It's the one day every year when the Ashleys all wear purple. And only purple. Hey, second grader, nice ensemble. Not. <laughs> purple Day. Just another dumb excuse for them to pick on everyone. Maybe they won't see me. Hey, Grundler, nice box. Trying to mail yourself to Planet Geekoid. <laughs> She knows it's Purple Day. There she is! <gasps> I am so upset. Mommy had to wait for an ambulance to go by. I'm like, hello, I'm late for... Like, what are you guys looking at? accused of high crimes against the clique, of forgetting Purple Day, our most sacred fashion day of the year. Bigger than Hat Day, more important than High Heel Day, even more hallowed than the week of sparkly nail polish. For Purple Day marks the anniversary when all of us first realized we were Ashley's in the making. Ew, as if! What's your name? Like, I'm Ashley, too. No way, that's my name. I totally can't believe this. On that day, henceforth known as Purple Day, a clique was born. We took an oath, swearing allegiance, dedicating ourselves to style and beauty, and most importantly, promising to wear purple on Purple Day. But today, you violated that promise, Ashley A. And when you did, you, like, totally tainted the Ashley name. Ashley A, you give us no choice. I've got just three words to say to you. I'm like, so sure. Get a hold of yourself, Ashley A. Daddy always said beauty, style, and attitude would prevail. You just need to find a new click. A better click. Hmm. Let's see what we have to work with. Hi there. You know, your hair would keep its shape better if you used a little mousse. Like, voila! Do me a favor. Go away. I mean, it's not like I need them. I'm the one who always knows what's coming into style. I'm the one who always starts the latest trends, and I'm the one who gets all the fashion channels. Hello? Are you guys even listening to me? Hello? <laughs> she collapsed Tunnel 3! We've been working on it since first grade! Fine, I'm going. It was filthy down there anyway. All we have to do is poke a pithole in one side of the box and cut a slab in the other. The light shines through the pithole onto the opposite side, and when you look through the slab, you see the eclipse. Fun, huh? Fun wasn't exactly the word I was thinking of. Look, Gretchen, building a pinhole projector doesn't really seem like recess. I mean, it's schoolwork. You mean you don't want to help? Well, anybody for dodgeball? See ya! I don't understand it. There should be a line of kids fighting to be my friend. <sighs> Fashion gods must be testing me. Hi, Gretchen. How's it going? Fine. Like, what you doing? Making a pinhole projector. You need any help? Did you just ask to help me? Um, yeah? Well, okay. Hand me that compass. Anything else? How about that French curve? Scissors, straight edge, carbon paper. Hey, Gretchen. Yes, Ashley. This is kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of is. 
Weird. Nutty glue? Cellophane tape? Paper clips? You guys won't believe what I just saw! What? Gretchen and Ashley ain't walking to school! Together! Yeah, right. How many times we gotta tell you, Gus? Any pace is bad for you. So the Earth revolves around the sun? Exactly. Huh. Daddy always said the world revolved around me. Uh-oh. She's hanging out with that loser geek. Yeah, how could she stoop so low? You'd think Gretchen would, like, have better taste. You know, Gretchen should be our friend, not that disgusting Ashley A's. You are so right, Ashley Q. Come on. Hello, Gretchen. Gretchen, friend. So, what's in the box? A pinhole projector. Ashley A and I made it so we can watch the solar eclipse tomorrow. You children wouldn't understand. Oh, yeah? Well, for your information, we're, like, totally into astrology. Don't you mean astronomy? <laughs> Whatever. So, what's your sign, Gretchen? Well, uh, my birthday's March 23rd. March 23rd? That makes you an Aries. I'm a Leo. We're, like, totally compatible. We are? But I'm a Gemini, and Geminis get along with Aries even better. They do? Not as good as Leos. I bet you differ. Maybe on your planet. Oh, yeah? Uh, what are you talking about? about? No, 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 Golly, I had no idea I was compatible with so many people. It's an Ashley epidemic. Yeah, and Gretchen's got the bug. Alas, poor Gretchen. I knew her well. Hey, don't worry, guys. I got something no kid can resist. So that it's like all of us after school at the ball? That is like so totally brilliant, Gretchen. But Gretchen, aren't you forgetting? Grasshopper, formaldehyde? We had plans. Don't worry. I'm sure I could squeeze everyone in. Hey, Gretchen, come on. TJ set off a stink bomb in Prickly's office. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, totally booked. This is a lot more rare than a solar eclipse. Ugh, so many friends, so little time. Friends? Gretchen, those girls aren't your friends. They're Ashley's. We're your friends. Oh, really? Well, who helped me build my pinhole projector? Who shares my interest in science and astronomy? You guys? Not. She's right. She's right! <laughs> I can't get over how much better your pinhole thingy looks in pink. Like I always say, there's no reason science can't be color coordinated. Well, I should have known. Holding the eclipse without me, are you? Well, actually, we were just... You promised to do it with me, not with these fashion rejects. Fashion rejects? Well, if that isn't the sway calling the vinyl day class, eh? Let's go, Gretchen. We can have the eclipse at my house after school. No, you don't understand. Forget her, Gretchen. Come to my house and we'll have an eclipse slumber party. Oh, well, that's very nice, but I... My house! My house! My house! My house! My house! My house! Ashley A, Ashley B, please! Hey, Gretchen, you never guess what... <gasps> oh, no! They're gonna rip her in two! Mine! She's mine! She's mine! She's mine! She's mine! She's mine! She's mine! mine. <gasps> like, oh, my gosh! Oh, no! Look what you've done! All my planning, all my hard work! Ruin! Like, have a cow? Please, it was just a box! <laughs> yeah, it's not like there was anything in it, like makeup or jewelry or... or... Shoes! <laughs> Did you just say shoes? I, like, totally can't believe it. That's just what I was thinking. Well, you know what they say. Great minds shop alike. Truer words were never spoken. Oh, Ashley A, we missed your advanced sense of style. Oh, I'm sorry I called you all fashion rejects. Let's promise never to fight again, okay? Okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. Gretch, are you okay? No, I'm devastated. We're really sorry about your pinhole projector. <sighs> it's not that. It's worse. I mean, all my life I wondered what it would be like to be a popular kid. And then it happened. These last four days I was adored by everyone. Guess I kind of got carried away. And now, thanks to that, I've wrecked the one thing I wanted most. You mean to see the eclipse? No, to have you guys as my friends. I'm sorry, guys. I should never have taken you for granted. Hey, come on, Gretch. We were the ones who acted like jerks. And besides... Look! Maybe if I eat right and exercise, I'll live to see the next total eclipse in 122 years. But why do you have to miss this one? Oh, is that what I think it is? We made it ourselves. Yeah, we wanted to share the experience with you. But how? You left 
changed her plans in the Ashley Clubhouse. Those girls should really think about installing some sort of security system. Oh, it's working! Gretchen, it sure is.